joined by Woking assistant manager Ian Dyer. Ian, um, point of piece, how did you how do you see the performance today? Yeah, I thought the performance was um, was a battle in one. I think probably slightly different to what we've seen um, in a couple of the previous games, especially Tuesday night. I don't think we probably quite got the attack inside of um, our play um, right, but I think that's probably mainly down to the opposition today. I think you know, obviously Halifax, extremely well organised, hard working team. Credit to their manager for that, and I think they're extremely hard to beat. And I think that the game probably showed that. Um, I thought two teams that were given everything, um, but in terms of chances, obviously not much really, um, and, and not too much between the teams. I think probably nil-nil and a draw, a point of piece is a, is a fair result. It was, a, it was a pretty feisty game, wasn't it, at, at, at times? Is it, did, were you feeling that on the bench as well? Yeah, I think we knew going into the game what we were going to get from them and I think they probably knew the same from us. It was um, going to be kind of both teams giving everything and um, I think if you if you give kind of any quarter of the pitch to a team like Halifax, you're going to get beat. So um, you have to make sure that you match them um, in terms of work rate and I think we did that, match them physically. I think we did that as well for large periods of the game. And then you've just got to hope when the one or two chances do drop, which they did I think for both teams, that, that you can take one of them and unfortunately um, for us we, we weren't able to do that and I think the first half we had a couple of really good chances and um, you know on another day we, we score one of those and, and get the three points. But we can't be too, too disappointed I don't think. We, we've um, you know The boys have given us everything in the first five games. Um, we looked a little bit leggy. I think we started a little bit sluggish, which is unlike us. Um, but the battling qualities and the fact we've kept a, a third clean sheet out of five is, is something that's a positive and we can certainly go and build on that again going forward. But they're a tough team to beat. I, I'd be surprised if they lost uh, many games again this season because they are what they, um, what they are and um, you know it's a very good team in this division. You mentioned the three clean sheets. What are the team doing particularly well from a from a defensive point of view, and I, I say team because you know t teams obviously sort of defend from the front to a certain extent. It's not just the back four. Yeah, I, th I think you know the, the personnel obviously in the back four and, and, and Rossi have, have, have been excellent. I think um, you know they're, they're starting to really build that relationship. I think especially the centre halves who um, only met kind of a couple of hours before the first game of the season. So to throw them two in together um, is obviously quite hard for them. But I think they've struck up quite a good partnership centrally. Um, I've got to mention Jack Cook. I think he started the season especially well um, and is really kind of leading that that back line and, and has put in some great performances as well. But as you say, we're, we're very much a, a team um, that has to work all 11 players and work from the front and defend from the front and, um, and do it as a unit. It. And I think that's been pleasing as well. The wide players, the, the centre forward and the midfielders are all working kind of together to make sure that we, we are harder to break down. And I think if you can keep clean sheets in this league especially, then, then you're going to be in a great chance of winning games of football. And unfortunately today wasn't meant to be, but obviously the two previous ones, we, we have got the goals at the right time to, to get the three points. So I think defensively we've, um, we, we've certainly looked strong and that's been a massive positive. How pleased were you to be able to get Ben Dempsey back in the squad? Very much so, yeah, he's a player that obviously came in and did very well last year and, and really made an impact when he came in. He's a player we've obviously, um, you know, Dallas has been in touch with over the summer and, and made sure that uh, if there was an opportunity for him to come back, um, we were going to take it. Um, and I know there were some league clubs looking to take him on loan as well and that the fact that he wanted and he was desperate to come back here and, 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 and help us again and, and, and kind of join this team is, um, I think speaks volume of how much he enjoyed it last time. So, you know, he's a class act in there. He's got loads of energy. He's positionally very, very good. He's an intelligent footballer, um, good on the ball as well. And he's, he's got that little bit of grit um, and determination, which I think you need to compete at this level. So really pleased to have him back and obviously provides good competition now for places in there in terms of the squad. What was the reaction in the camp to the Aldershot FA Cup draw? Positive, yeah, no, very much looking forward to it. Myself and Dowser upstairs listening to the draw in the office live. And, um, you know, when Aldershot came out, you, you kind of knew, we both looked at each other and knew it was going to be us. And, um, yeah, one we've got to look forward to, um, you know, local derby, um, obviously a team in the same league as us. So, yeah, a game we're very much looking forward to. I mean, the, the only kind of dampener, I guess, is the fact there's not going to be four or 5,000 fans there for, for both teams cheering them on. And, um, you know, that's a disappointing part of it. But, yeah, very much a game we want to win. I understand, obviously, I mean, we're, 
I've only played one game against them since we came here and I understand that the, the recent record's not great and um, that's very much a determination in, in our change room to put that right and give our fans kind of local bragging rights if we if we can. But we know it's going to be a very tough game. Obviously, um, you know, they've had another decent result today on the back of a good week. So um, we're going there knowing it's going to be a very, very tough game. And at the moment, we're unsure in terms of lone players and injuries, kind of what sort of squad we're going to have next week. And um, it, it's certainly not going to be the, the squad or the team we've had this week. Um, so we we might have to make some adjustments for that but we'll be ready for the game when it comes and just as a final question in if I may you've now played five games behind closed doors is it something that you and the players are, are getting used to is it something you're adapting to or does it still feel very very alien yeah it still feels strange obviously as it will do um, but I think um, you, you, you have to adapt you, you can't help but adapt because you know otherwise if you let it affect you um, for, in my opinion it's going to be quite quite a while until the fans probably are back in I would imagine the other side of, of Christmas so the players and, and us have to adapt otherwise we're you know we're not going to perform to, to the best of our abilities either so um, you, you've got to use it as a positive when you can and, and one of the things that um, we've certainly asked the players to do is is really communicate and be loud and, and be leaders when they're on the pitch because they won't have that extra vocal support and I think that the squad all the way through from number one to number 20 has taken that on board and we're very much a tight-knit group and everyone's in it together and I I think you can hear that um, from the sideline as, as well as the management staff, the, the subs and the players that aren't in the squad. And I think that sense of togetherness is, is really, really important when you're playing um, in these environments. And I think our work rate and, and our application has to remain the same and we can't rely on the fans to, to give us that extra energy. It has to come from within. And, um, you know, so far the boys have given us that, which, is, which has been a really pleasing factor about it as well. But desperate to get the fans back, obviously, especially here. You know, we've started really well at home, but the, the sooner the fans are back in, getting behind us then um, the better for everyone involved I think. Top man, appreciate Brilliant. your time. Thank Cheers. you very much indeed.